Turkana County has in the past been in the limelight, especially during complex humanitarian yeah. emergencies. In some places, however, perennial drought and subsequent food shortage due to unreliable rainfall is now a thing of the past, as pastoralists also adopt crop production through irrigation. On this week's episode of The Next Frontier in Agriculture, Philip Kitani visited Turkana County and brings us the following report. Meet Jen Nyamuri, a mother of six from Katilu in Turkana County, and a former pastoralist that has since dropped herding and pastoral life for subsistence farming. Something she says has changed her life for the better and that of her family, guaranteeing them enough food all year round. <laughs> With parts of Kenya currently facing one of the worst droughts in recent times, Turkana County has remained relatively food secure, courtesy of farmers like Jen and the farming community in Katilu, Turkana County, that they have taken their time to learn new farming methods that are now bearing fruits and saving lives. <laughs> The Katilu irrigation scheme was first started in 1966 by food and agricultural organization FAO, who later pulled out leaving the scheme struggling until 2011 when the National Irrigation Board started rehabilitation of the scheme with an aim of reinstating the FARO irrigation system. What we have done because these people are coming from background of pastoralism and also subsistence farming, we had to introduce things like the, the demo plot where we are, of three have an acre plot where we do now dif we do diversification and research activities. Since then, NIB has provided not only agricultural infrastructure, but also technical information on farm inputs, training and equipping farmers on how to manage animals and crop conflict. Before they do horticultural crops, they must do maize first as a major crop, because the first thing is to have food security in the region. From there now, let us find something now to put in the pocket through horticultural crops. NIB also introduced the farmers to the National Cereals and Produce Board in 2012. The irrigation board also linked farmers that had planted watermelons to Talo Oil Company, where farmers sold their rippled melons. NIB has since introduced other crop varieties in the area. This has helped in control of pests, diseases, and improvement of soil fertility. With some parts of the country experiencing one of the worst droughts in recent times, this former pastoral community in Katilu, Turkana County, is a happy lot after abandoning pastoralism for subsistence farming, which is now providing enough food for their families and the neighboring communities. Philip Keitang for The Next Frontier.